So for today, we're going to be covering the Corrupted Echo armor set for the Warlocks, which is the Grasp of Avarice dungeon armor. And honestly, I think the Warlocks won on this just because a lot of the pieces, if not all of them, are really good. So let me know, Warlock, what you guys think in the comments below. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe it really does help the channel grow. And I appreciate y'all for doing so. But let's just get right into the video. So this is the armor set. It's super cool, in my opinion. It like almost all the pieces are really really well done uh aside from the helmet i think the helmet is the weakest part of the whole armor set not a surprise considering i think almost all the helmets for this armor set for each class is either weak or just downright bad uh warlock's no exception although i do see myself using this a lot more than the other classes so i will give it that not only that i do appreciate the symmetrical look aside from the two horns here but in my head, it just kind of makes one horn. It just kind of split. That's how I'm justifying it in my head. Other than that, it looks really good. Uh, just note it's not symmetrical, actually. There is three horns on each side, but it's not at the same spot, so that's unfortunate. Actually, the horn's here, too. Oh, wow, this isn't symmetrical. But from afar, it kind of does. Yeah, actually, kind of, kind of. Aside from, It doesn't matter. Either way, uh, helmet's fine. The arms are actually super cool as well. They're... They're arms, so nothing too crazy. I do wish that Bungie utilized the fingers a little more because um, it would have been cool if they had like fangs, or not fangs, uh, what is it called? Claws. I feel like claws would have been really good with this armor set, so that's a missed opportunity. But other than that, yeah, this, these arms look fine. Chest piece, however, I think is the best portion of this whole armor set, honestly. Um, that's not a surprise considering I am correct. This is the best uh, chess piece for any class. It's just so good. Uh, I appreciate that the armor pieces here are not like super, super big and it's not like a really big uh, chess piece. It's literally just lines, which I think look really cool. Uh, speaking of lines, I also like the lines here. It just looks very, very cool in my opinion. Same thing for the, for the like, loincloth here i think that looks super cool the armor pieces on the side look super cool as well i just appreciate that it looks symmetrical and it's not symmetrical at the same time like it's not really but it just looks so good in my eyes so bungie really did, outdid themselves with this chest piece but let's go out to the legs i think the legs are fine i think they're just typical legs that you'll see on and pretty much every every warlock so it's not bad it just it looks normal. It looks like something that Warlock would wear. Last but not least, we have the Mark or the Bond. And this one is, <sighs> it's not bad. I just wish that the green glow could actually change color because it does not change colors, unfortunately. And I say unfortunately because it is unfortunate. It very much is. So now that we have seen all the armor, let's actually see where the glows are. So the glow is pretty much symmetrical on the helmet the arms are not obviously but it's super it's still super cool though i really appreciate all the glows i think it's super cool i would appreciate more if the glows actually showed up a little more on certain shaders but whatever as for shaders we're going to look at the same ones as we looked at the as the titans or at least close to it row scale we have from this season's iron band or this season's uh crucible which is super cool in my opinion again i wish the i wish the glow just showed up more or all of it the let's go to the next page which will do cryptic insignia which is one of my favorites it's from deep stone crypt uh horizon blush which also gives this armor a really cool like almost rustic look quite literally rust uh which i, th I think looks super cool uh, the Abyssinian gold, which looks really cool. Unfortunately, I'm not the biggest fan of the like brown. I guess that's brown gray, brown gray armor, but some people might like that. Uh, Carminica, which is from uh, Scene of the Arrivals. I think it, I think this one is from Crucible as well. I like this one a lot, but I don't like the distressed red here. I've never been a big fan of that. Valkyrie Zero made me a little sad because this is a lot of orange. Uh, if you do want to use this though, the arms actually have really good colors on it. The helmet's pretty good, good as well. But other than that, there's orange on pretty much everything, unfortunately. For Gambit Jade Stone, which was from Season of Dawn, unfortunately can't get this one either. 
this one looks really good with it compared with especially when you pair it with this one the the bond i think it looks really cool the let's see this one first frost and ah this one looks way better yeah these two are also from season of the undying pretty sure those are eververse drops or you buy from eververse amethyst veil also from eververse and season of the menagerie which is one of my favorite sh seasons the shader looks really cool i just wish the purple glow would actually come out a little better oh my god that would look so sick uh let's go with my favorite shader sato tribe this is one of my favorites if not my favorite shader i've already said this before it looks really good with this oh my god it, it looks so good but yeah i do apologize if i'm not showing showcasing a shader that you want to see if you guys do want me to do that let me know in the comments below but damn this looks this looks really good too uh dreaming spectrum which is from the last wish raid it looks super good with this one as well the crucible metallic is from forsaken crucible then let's go with precursor of x chrome which is what i'm at currently using for my warlock it looks really good yeah this i'm really happy that all the all of the classes armor shaders really well because we need more of that unfortunately i like i said the only thing that doesn't change color is this one right here but that's not that big a deal because you can combine it with other pieces that are green this looks really cool and then last but not least let's go oh this all oh, by the way iron to steel that's from uh oh it's not not season this is from warmind so a dlc from vanilla destiny 2 and Kala selected not a big fan of that purple this looks way better so these two are from leviathan and prestige leviathan so if you are curious but let's uh let's move on to the actual uh me making an armor set on the fly so see you midnight smith Ooh, that looks that's it no this is it this definitely it it looks so good uh another shader i probably would go for was would be like warbreak maybe yeah no this one looks way better so the cool thing about this armor is the fact that you can actually combine this uh armor set with a bunch of other stuff you can combine it with the Verity's Brow, Verity's Brow would be really good. Unfortunately, Verity's Brow's like the bone color, can't change colors. So you would have to adjust to that. Another exotic that would go, that would pair well with this would be Necrotic Rips, specifically just the basic bitch version of it. Although I think the ornament does give off a green glow as well. Um, if you want, you can use Aeon Soul. So that way you can actually combine it with the green from the bond as well. And Honestly, anything that has like an organic look will look really good with it. So just mix around and just find whichever one you want. Personally, I'm probably gonna go with the necrotic, uh, necrotic grip just because that's a really good exotic to pair it with. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys wanna follow me on my social media, I'll links are in the description below. Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. I think this armor the whole set looks so so good but yeah let me know what you guys think uh i will have other videos coming soon uh destiny 2 related and other stuff as well not only that but i'm probably going to be start streaming this week i don't know which day uh but i will post it on the community on my youtube so if you guys want to see my streams it's it's at twitch.tv slash fix tony if you guys are interested uh drop by ask me questions tell me i'm garbage either way i'll answer all questions or we can just have fun either way i'll see you guys later